Hi, Seabrace Roos here. I want to answer dimensions. New game minus four video, episode seven. And yes, I've grabbed enough so I can galactic sacrifice for Galaxy Point. This is huge because this is going to allow me to buy this upgrade right here. Normal and time dimensions are 99% cheaper. This means it costs two antimatter. Not even two enter when I get the first dimension, and the time dimensions will at least the first few will be for virtually free. So, this means that the first couple time dimension shifts, like at the very least, are just free. Like, I, I don't even, I barely need to do anything. Like, that's three time dimension shifts in just seconds. And the fourth one, I cannot do immediately, but with all of the other like, time dimension stuff and just getting that I can jump start on my antimatter production and all of a sudden this game is going to get a lot faster because look at this I now have 10 second dimensions already and I'm not even sure if I should try to go for more time dimension shifts than this like this may just be enough to be able to really like I'm not I feel like I should try to go for the time dimension shifts I mean, there is the, you know, this reward of, like, upon a, a time dimension boost, your dimension boosts do not reset unless you have more time dimension boosts and your dimension boosts. So I could try to utilize that, but I'm not, I don't feel like that's the best idea because the first three time dimension boosts are just freebies. Like, I barely need to do anything for them. So I feel like uh, what, what I should do is I, I'm not sure if four time dimensions is really enough to go all the way to like 10 eighth dimensions it may be enough it may not be enough I'm really not sure but at the very least this is a lot faster and, and I I needed something like this like, I feel like I should try to at least get to the fifth time dimensions maybe not the sixth time dimensions because the sixth time dimensions take a while to get in it but I do feel like the fifth time dimensions are worth it so that's what I'm going to do also look at this I'm gonna get the fourth dimensions already which is crazy just because of the 99% cheaper thing so yeah this is this is really good but the thing is that I'm now a little nervous for what will happen next because I don't really know what this is this is Reduce the dimension boost cost multiplier to 10. Maybe I, sh I think I should try to get that. I think what that is, is like if I start getting dimension boosts beyond just like, if I, if I actually start getting the dimension boost instead of the shifts, and um, I think like the dimension boost will go up by like 15. And what that upgrade will do, it, it'll make it go up by 10 instead of 15. Which means it has no effect on anything that's four dimension boosts or four dimension shifts or less so yeah that is that is something that is a little bit worrisome so i i probably will just do all of that off camera and i'm not even sure what the upgrade after that i'm gonna go for is i'm definitely like now the early parts of the of, of like the galactic sacrifice or of like each galaxy is very fast but the later parts still remain slow all, actually all i need is five f5 e9 here which will get me the fourth time dimension shift and i feel like what i should do at this point is get one of these get a fifth time dimension maybe i can get just one of each and then start getting all of these as well and that should definitely help things so at this point, I'm going to start going for dimension shifts. It definitely is considerably faster than before, which is really nice, but it still feels at least a little bit slow. And I guess that's New Game Minus 4, especially considering the next upgrade is going to do nothing. And then I have no idea how I'm going to try to go for five galaxy points. Like, to get m more than one galaxy point from a galactic sacrifice... What you need to do is you need to get like multiple dimension shifts 
or multiple dimension boosts and like more than 10 eighth dimensions and maybe even a tick speed boost or two. And I'm not exactly sure how powerful a tick speed boost really would be here. Like they're not they're not all that powerful in new game minus minus minus. They're I would say slightly more powerful than a um, dimension shift. Like like the thing is with tick speed boost, it's it's almost like a dimension boost, except it's a little bit stronger and it resets dimension boost. That, that might have been a spoiler, but maybe it, you probably read this here. Lose dimension boost for a better tick speed multiplier. That's what tick speed boosts do. And they, they're sort of irrelevant earlier on, but later on they become a lot more relevant. So now here is the next dimension shift. So again, sort of the same deal. I, I think it's best to just get like one of each time dimension, or at least like one of the later time dimensions, just so I can, I can actually get... Um, some tick speed upgrades that will speed up like the early parts of these runs because you can see there's just sort of a gap between like the second dimensions and the third dimensions so yeah there's that way it's really annoying but I guess I just have to deal with weights like that and I'm not getting that many tick speed upgrades maybe this is because I don't have a sixth time dimension or just because I want the game to be faster it's probably the latter honestly so, and it just feels slower because I want it to be faster. Okay, I have done another dimension shift, and I feel like um, it's sort of similar to, like, before, except the first two time dimension shifts are just freebies, of course. And I feel like the runs after that take about three minutes instead of five to ten minutes. So, I mean, that does, I would say that cuts the amount of time in to get like a galaxy or, or galactic sacrifice in half and i'm still not sure like I, I may actually want to like once i actually get this upgrade i may want to do five individual runs instead of one big run i'm really really not sure i also could try to you know go for challenges but i i, I really feel like that isn't the way i want to go I don't know. I'm, I'm really not sure how the challenges work. I'll probably do them sometime. I, the thing is that this, I'm, this mod, like, nobody plays it that I feel like I'm in uncharted territory. There's, like, no guide for new game minus, 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 minus. Because probably only, like, a total of 100 people have actually played this mod. Versus, like, for example, the Vanilla and Samara Dimensions, where it probably n numbers in the hundreds of thousands of players so you know, it's, it's very different even like new game plus 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 is definitely in the thousands so like that has a guide even though it's sort of unpolished so yeah there's not much like i i could try challenge three challenge three it looks like the same as the vanilla game or the first dimension is heavily weakened but it gets an exponentially increasing bonus that resets and reset and that you, you can sort of abuse that bonus. You can just wait 24 hours to get a ridiculously large amount of antimatter that maybe I could try to abuse, except I don't really feel like that's the way to go. I, I, I'm going to probably contact um, like the developer of the New Game Minus X mods and try to... Um, like, like say, like, try to prevent abuse of the exponentially rising, like, multiplier to the, the first dimension that Challenge 3 does. Because, like, there's actually, like, you've noticed there's a bar here, and it says percentage to infinity. And it's not, like, actually infinity. Like, if you've played Answer Random Dimensions, or watched, like, literally any of my other Answer Random Dimensions series, you know what infinity is. And essentially you need to get a certain amount of antimatter to get to infinity or a lot of stuff happens. A lot of new stuff happens. And I'm thinking that you could abuse challenge 3 to get to infinity. And like instead of taking probably the intended like multiple weeks or months because of new game is because this is new game minus four it would it would just take 24 hours 
So I I'm definitely I don't really want to cheat that way. Like I like I feel like it's I mean I'm not like hacking the game or anything, but it feels like I just it's like an exploit and I and I don't think exploits like that should exist. Also, here is the last dimension shift. So this will be the fastest the fastest this game will go and for a while. But anyway, I don't really like exploiting the game in that way. Like the only time like I do use the console from time to time like which is essentially like a thing where you can set like the variables and it's essentially cheating, but I do use it from time to time. Like for example, like when I'm trying to recover a save, I can like I can use that to like put the variables in that like my save my previous lost save would have had. I also sometimes use it to like get myself bugged achievements where I have the requirement but it won't give me the achievement. And then the third time where I use it is when there's an insurmountable, like proven to be insurmountable wall that cheating is the only way to get through. Like there, you can see that in New Game Minus Minus. I don't know why I'm really telling you about that, but I am. Like I, I wouldn't use it just to, you know, like, like give myself five galaxy points because I think the game is too slow, even though it's definitely possible. Like it's, like it's definitely possible to actually get five galaxy points here. It would just take a long, long time. And maybe while I'm waiting, I can run down some of the other galaxy upgrades that I can get. So the other galaxy upgrades are like there's this one that I've already explained. But then there's this increase all dimension multipliers and by x to the 1.1 times. You can find that in New Game minus minus and minus minus minus. And that upgrade helps a lot. Like it, it re like it, like it doesn't really seem all that much at first, but like just notice that the game just feels quite a bit faster just because essentially that's nerfing the dilation nerfs and it's just it really can help especially when time dimensions are going to also be like in place there so I, I technically I can get another time dimension shift but I will not get that because I'm pretty close to a regular dimension shift actually not just a dimension but shift a galaxy but yeah, there's that. And then there's this upgrade, which is found in New Game Minus Minus and Minus Minus Minus, but it's modified here. What you'd find there is normal dimensions gain a multiplier based on time since last galactic sacrifice. Here, it it's slightly modified, so it also includes time dimensions. So essentially that upgrade rewards sort of like longer galactic sacrifices. Because that upgrade, if you've seen New Game Minus Minus and Minus Minus Minus, that upgrade can, like, after, like, a day, it gets to, like, 150 times, and it just, it's huge. It, like, it's something that, like, radically affects the game experience. Unfortunately, it starts at, like, two times. And then there's this upgrade here. Galaxies are two times stronger, reduce the cost by 20 less, except for the first, and decrease the cost multiplier to 30. So essentially what that just does, it just makes, it buffs galaxies and makes it so you can get more galaxies and it really makes it so you can actually start pushing. Like antimatter, like you'll, you'll see what I mean later. But look at this, one antimatter galaxy. That took probably about 20 minutes to get from the galactic sacrifice. And uh, before I go, I'll just do these freebie galactic a freebie time dimension shifts just because it's fun to get all like I something like this just free but other than that there's really not much else interesting going on like all 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 that's really gonna happen what I'm gonna do off camera is galactic sacrifice get this upgrade that will do nothing like at like lower levels and then get one galaxy and then get to eighth dimensions so, it, yeah, essentially I'm just doing the same run twice. Same Galactic Sacrifice run twice. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.